Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick demo of Air Command for the Samsung Galaxy Note Pro 12.2. Now it's not different really than uh, the Note 10.1 2014 edition, but I know there are many of you out there that are brand new to this tablet simply because it now exists, and 10.1 inches simply wasn't enough for you uh, when it came to note taking and actually utilizing something like the S Pen to the best of your abilities. So for those of you who are curious and haven't jumped back to look at the older videos I've shot, I decided an update was in order. So as soon as you remove the pen, it will prompt Air Command. You can also do that by hitting the button right here on the S Pen while hovering over the screen. And you can see it immediately brings up uh, this little quick application launcher. You've got the pen window, S Finder, screen write, scrapbook, and action memo. Now my favorite of the bunch is really at the action memo. I've demoed this before. Uh, and essentially you can write down something, a phone number, a name, a place, and then tie it to something like a contact, an email, a map, whatever you need to practically use that information rather than it just being another sticky stored digitally. So for example, I wrote out Central Park for those of you that could decipher my scratch. And just by touching that little app there, the Lasso app, you essentially are able to guide what you're capturing and then tie it to, as I said before, a contact, an email, browser, you can essentially just do a search for the information, map it, or finally create a task associated with it. So in this case, it makes sense to map because whether you could read it or not, that was the words Central Park. Those were the words Central Park. So there you can see tied directly to it. We can then do a variety of things with that uh, waypoint that we've created uh, right here through Google Maps. So very cool, very easy and practical to use. Uh, we can jump back. Other Air Command uh, action memo capabilities, like I was just mentioning, uh, you could also write out a number, uh, any address, whatever it may be, and tie it to something instantly. If I wanted to do a search, let's say I want to see what's going on with free agency with the New York Giants. So uh, I'm not in write mode, excuse me. So then go ahead and just lasso that. Again, scratch Riffic. And it got NK, so we didn't quite get it, but it looks like it figured it out to a degree. And I could go to something here from the results, despite the fact that they weren't exactly perfect. I can also just fix that. That's another option, which I'm going to do. I can. Now it's corrected. Search. And there we have it. So they're talking about Tom, Hall of Fame worthy. I'm more interested in free agency, but you can see my point here. I mean, that's the ease of use here for whatever you want to do with the action memos. Very simple, straightforward. It's It, it just works and uh, great for quick data access or entry to tie to actual use again rather than just creating uh, clutter. The scrapbooker is not really of major interest to me. It allows you to just pull together uh, pretty much anything you want from the screen, save it, uh, and catalog it. So right now if I wanted to specifically just get an image like this you can see it's highlighting these three icons. That's what it's going to capture. If I wanted to do a full screen, as opposed to just that, what I selected there, you would just draw over more surface area. Now you can see everything is pretty much highlighted in this entire region. So that's what it's going to capture and give me the option to catalog, save, share. You get the idea. So, uh, of course, you can also make memos. So, very simple and very useful. Samsung, very wise in developing software that was actually something people would want to use rather than just more useless junk. Uh, ScreenWrite just pops a screen capture, as you just saw, that white border. We now have a picture of whatever's on 
screen and basically all the features of S Note come to life. You can select whatever utensil, color, um, you know, you want to use and go to town. Create a piece of art, write, annotate, whatever it may be, you've got it. Share it, save it, or just ditch it. Next feature of Air Command is the S Finder. This allows you to search the entire tablet, its external storage for that micro SD card slot, uh, for any kind of information or content from the web uh, that you've saved and put together. So, uh, pretty straightforward yet again, and they even give you a little uh, keyboard there to uh, deal with the text input field. Uh, finally, uh, the multitasking arm of Air Command is the actual pen window and that's because it allows you to draw a square on any part of the screen that you like and then select from basically the multitasking uh, multi-window drawer so you can select anything you want open up an internet browser you can do this again and you can make as many of these as you really desire so I can open up a Word document and these can be resized repositioned whatever you want very easy to manipulate uh, with pinch to zoom and again just another great example of multitasking Samsung really covering every base when it comes to multitasking this is very similar to what LG um, has on the G-pad but even what you're seeing here is far more advanced than what LG has and that's their only form of multitasking. So it says a lot about what Samsung has put together here. Uh, really developed a very nice S Pen experience. And I'm not even getting into, uh, you know, graphic design, artist work, or even serious note taking, because this is just, again, for the average consumer. You want to throw a calculator in there, you've got it. And again, you can resize it. You can't make them transparent, but you can minimize, maximize. So that's pretty cool. And then you've got little floating uh, tokens, essentially widgets, for all of these that you can get quick access to to jump back to them. And those can be all over. Just more multitasking going on simultaneously without even having to evoke the actual multitasking capability, which you can, by the way, completely customize. So really nice functionality out of this tablet, great productivity, and again, uh, the S Pen is just a winner all around. They've made it a little bit thicker. You no longer have to worry about which direction you're inserting it into its holder. It is self-aware. It knows that the S Pen is actually out. You can see that little logo there. Uh, it'll let you know if you, the S Pen is uh, away from the device. So uh, just overall a great experience with the S Pen. Uh, the Wacom digitizer is best in class, unmatched in the industry, unless you again have another one of their digitizer uh, experiences. So uh, Samsung doing a great job as usual here uh, with their S Pen integration in this 12.2 inch massive tablet that still weighs uh, only a little over a pound and a half. So really enjoying this device. Hope all of you enjoy the update. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.